Uh, so this question is you shape the matrix. So you give it an MN M by N metric and then R and, R and C. So you want to reshape the metric to the desired metric. So desired metrics R, the new R, new C. So for this one, you have row one, column four. So total, you have about four elements, right? So in this one, row two, you have two rows and then four columns so the total you you will have is what eight element but inside your matrix you only have four right so you you will just return the original matrix like right? if they are not the same you just return so if a reshape operation with given parameter is possible and legal you know you output the new new reshape matrix Otherwise, the output the original matrix. So, the first the first thing we need to ch check is what if meta land times meta you know the column if this does not equal to r times c we return what mat right and then what happens if the mat is zero. Alright, so now we can talk about how to resolve the problem. So we created a new metric based on R, based on C, we're traversing the metric. And then we have the index, we should have an index to keep on track the new metric. And basically just be careful about the index. So we should go to new in R C I'll return result and then basically you need a Q in this so what should I say I would say A B Alright A represent words B represent column I mean I'm not going to confuse you the R and C uh, here we go. So for in i equal to zero, i less than the original metric. I plus plus for in j equal to zero. J less than metric at zero dot length. J plus plus. All right. So we need to you know say re result a b equal to metric i j right. But we need to increment right. So imagine you are at what at zero index. So the first row, and then the B is represent column, first, first column. So once you assign, you need to increment your column, right? But you should what? Keep your row, right? You should keep your row until what? Until if B is actually equal to the C, which is the column, the limit, then you will say A plus plus, and then you need to reset B equal to zero. Because you want to start from the beginning column on the next following row, right? So this will be it. It's not hard. Alright, so for the time is space. This is a space. This is a time. Space is RC. Time is actually RC. I mean, RC represents, you know, the length of uh, the metric times the length of zero metric that there should be the same. If they are not the same, you are not able to traverse. So this is what the time but also the space. Alright, so I don't have anything else to talk about and I'll see you later. Bye.